Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic limits and continuity. Here are the example for the indeterminate form. So first, evaluate the following limits if they exist for the situation A. Limit when x approaching 2 for the function x squared minus 4 over x squared plus x minus 6. So at first, I'm going to substitute the value 2 into the function. So let's observe on the numerator. So we have 2 squared where it is equal to 4. 4 minus 4, we will have 0 and the numerator. Let's observe on the denominator. We have 2 squared, we will have 4 plus 2 minus 6. For the denominator, we will have 0. So this is what we call indeterminate form. Okay, so for this case, we are going to solve the situation by number 1, multiplying by the conjugate. Number 2, factorizing the situation. So in this case, my suggestion will be factorizing the situation. So let's observe with the numerator, we will have x squared minus 4. If, for me, I'm going to simplify the situation and we will have limit when x approaching 2. After we factorize the situation, we will have x minus 2, x plus 2 for the numerator. And with the help from the calculator, we can simplify the situation for x squared plus x minus 6. And for the denominator, after factorizing the denominator, and we will have x plus 3 x minus 2 next we are going to find the common terms we notice that for the numerator we have x minus 2 and for the denominator we also have x minus 2 so we can simplify and we will have limits when x approaching 2 we have x plus 2 over x plus 3 so next, we are going to substitute the value x equals to 2. So after we substitute the value for the numerator, we will have 4 over 5. So for the limit, when x approaching 2 for the function fx, the value of y is approaching 4 over 5. So now we are going to discuss the example b. Given limit when x approaching 0 for the function square root of x plus 2 minus square root of 2 over x. Next, I'm going to substitute the value into the function. So if I substitute the value and we will have the denominator, we have square root of 2 minus square root of 2. And we will obtain 0 for the numerator over 0 for the denominator. So in this case, this is considered as indeterminate form. So as usual, how to solve this kind of question? So we are going to multiply by the conjugate. The second one would be factorizing the situation. So in this case, my suggestion would be multiplying by the conjugate. So now I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. So for the conjugate, it will be square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2 over square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2. Next, I'm going to expand the situation only for the numerator. So now limit when x approaching 0. After we expand, we will have x plus 2 plus square root of x plus 2 multiply with 2 minus square root of x plus 2 multiply with square root of 2 minus 2 over x bracket square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2. So do remember, no need to expand for the denominator.
because it will complicate the situation. So next we are going to simplify the situation. So limit when x approaching 0. We notice that here we can simplify the situation become 0. 2 minus with the 2 again we will get 0 as well. So finally we will have x over x bracket square root of x plus 2 plus the square root of 2. Then finally we will have x approaching 0 1 over square root of x plus 2 plus square root of 2. Then after we substitute the value we will have 1 over square root of 2 plus square root of 2. So finally so limit when x approaching 0 for the function square root of x plus 2 minus square root of 2 over x we will have the answer or approaching 1 over 2 square root of 2. So here we are and thanks for watching.